keeps prices down far more effectively. Comrade Karanja, His Excellency says you are unbalanced. I am a man in search of man. I was never in search of God. My guest in conversation tonight is a celebrated painter, Emma Hussain. But he's more than just a painter, he's an innovative artist. Painting is your primary source of expression. What do you seek to communicate when you paint? And what do I think? <laughs> It's, a, it's just a, it's a sheer joy of creating something. You know, you don't set a goal or a, some, some thing, then it becomes a pattern, a, a, a calculated thing, which the scientists, scientists are in great, you know, command on that. The painters have little, uh, <coughs> little, you know, eccentric way of doing things. But in the, in the process, in that madness, they, if, if the painter is uh, you know, alive, what you call it, is aware, so he'll, he'll <coughs> notice what has gone through his hand or whatever it is. Because it, it, it's, not, it's nothing, I don't think painting is an, is an act of re, you know, this, you become philosopher, you become thinker, this is all, I think, has no relevance to art. Art is sheer, pure, especially to the line and the color. This is a sure joy what you see in, in the villages. Or this is what uh, exactly what I am trying to do with this, uh, using the cinema and the superstar to do, to go to the, you know, the wider section of the society. You mentioned you use the words like madness. Is that because yeah. there's a kind of uncontrolled ecstasy when you create? I think it is. It is because unless you you know, in, plunge into something and uh, without any fear whether you you lose or win. Because it's not a, 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 a especially a, even in music, though uh, there are, you know, <coughs> all the shastras, all the, uh, all the notes there, but the great master, the star, then he, in the process of singing, he takes deviation, he plays with the notes and creates something which is, that's how, it, other if you know the technique, so you follow the technique. That is just boring. So you have to take some risks it, and greater risks. If you, if you are, you know, bold enough to, to even to commit blunder, then you can discover something. When is a painting sort of successful and complete? When you experience the joy and the ecstasy of creating it, or it's been received by the viewer? I think that um, after after so many years of painting, I come to the conclusion. I think the art is not in the painting when it is finished. It's not there. It's the process. Like, like the musician. You know, when he, so it, it, the, the process is so exciting. Uh, and that's why I'm, for the last 15-20 uh, years I'm going to you know, going painting publicly with the musician, with the scientists, with, or just, just like they do to the institutions to, sh to share that joy. It's not, it's not that I, I want to, uh, people may call it gimmick, it's, it's, it's their you know, understanding and let them be happy. But uh, this is what I'm, I'm going ahead. Uh, but when a, when a, a musician who's, 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 a, who's a greater artist, when he can perform in the world, what's wrong with a painter? So, so I'm breaking this myth and with this cinema thing, I, I, I again, trying to demolish certain, you know, uh, what do you call it, norms of painting and all these pseudo-intellectual uh, uh, theories and all, all the, all the mm, concern about the language of painting. You know, the language, language of painting, of course, one should know. 
But when, uh, as Paul Clay has said, you, one should know all the theories, but when you sit down to paint, you throw all your theories and you know, formulas out of the window. You should paint like a child. And this is what we, we in this, uh, uh, it's, it's really so irritating. You know, even our learned people who know so much of our culture, when they come and uh, they don't understand what was Shwetambari, what is immersion of a painting? If they don't understand, who is going to do it? I, I think they are, they, they are dishonest. They know it, but they deliberately want, doesn't want to recognize it. You know, you've, you've mentioned this cinema thing. I presume that uh, relates to your series of painting with, with sort of the contemporary cinematic icon, Madhuri Dixit. In some senses, she's sort of driving and inspiring your work at this time. Uh, tell us something about this. Why are you inspired by just another actress? Her, her presence and at as the, as, as the same time, the tremendous control over her body, the language, the body language. She is, she is a great dancer. Because I, I'm, I'm, in my painting, the way I showed certain gestures, the way a, a, a woman is sitting or, or lifting his head or twist all the... So it, 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 is, it is sheer body language, which in, in the dance, in our uh, Bharatanatyam, in our Kuchipudi, it's, it's there. And uh, I was fascinated when uh, in, in early 50s, with, I was with uh, Bala Saraswati. Then before that, uh, Indrani Rahman's mother, who really introduced Bharatanatyam and discovered and uh, wrote books on Bharatanatyam. So, and so I'm, I'm a keen student of that. Uh, so that's why when I, when I saw her, though i never seen her film before, it's only this April, this year April, I happened to go to the cinema, I don't go to Indian, Indian film so much, but when I, I saw her, I, I was really, uh, you know, certain details which, which and especially the, the, what you call the Indian womanhood which I was seeking. For the last uh, 15, 20 years, I was thinking to do a series on in, uh, the Indian woman, uh, from the Kalidasa, from the Vatsayana, all, all these, as well as our, our own time. But I was, you know, I, I, was, I, I wanted to focus my thing, and she happens to be there. And then I, I just, uh, the whole thing is triggered off. I think I can, like Mother Teresa, when I wanted to paint the image of Mother, Universal Mother, when I met her. So I did what, uh, for the last 10 years I worked on her. So now I have this, uh, just uh, discovered her. Though I, I'm, I'm not, uh, she is already a, a great um, actress and all that. But unfortunately, the, the, the Bombay film industry doesn't have that capacity to use her well. So she will go waste, which I told her. But the thing is, this is it's a pity. We, we have great script writers, great directors, but uh, look at uh, Satyajit Ray. You know, he, he was only dedicated to produce so massive pieces. So, but uh, commercially, it was not, uh, he was painting, he was uh, doing film just for himself and for the art. Well, Satyajit Ray inspired many uh, paintings that you have uh, yeah, made. Yeah, because that was right on the beginning when I didn't meet him in the 50s when this Pathet Panchali was really. The moment I saw it, I said, here, the images are what I am in, in my painting. Because I am more concerned about the, the ethos of the Indian culture, the essence of India. No doubt there is, uh, you know, big theories and big, uh, what you call, uh, innovations made in the West as far as the, as the, as the form concerned. But the, the, the spirit of the color, which we have very, a unique way of looking at it. And especially uh, in, in, the, in the village, the innocence, innocence the, of the color in the villages, or you go to the tribal, there, the, the, what you call the, the strength and the power of the village. Now, they don't know a word about what is theory and this is, but when you see their work, I think it is superb. And it's not that uh, it's past history, it is, it is a living art form. What do you mean by, uh, when you just said, the innocence of color in the villages? Because there they play the color, you know, it's, 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 for there everything is celebration. Even, even the death is celebration. 
the way they, they paint their the houses, the animals, I think it's sheer joy. And uh, because I had made a film on, on the Rajasthan, I had gone there. I extensively toured the Rajasthan. And there I, I met those painters, those wall painters, when they, uh, you know, the families in, in the tradition, if there is there a wedding or some ceremony, they are, they are asked. So they go and just do it, a, a, a wall of shell, 50 feet. They start just from here and, and, and there. No change, nothing. What is that? And so, superb. And here, we, we, first of all, we uh, spent five years, which is a waste of time in the College of Art. It, it's just useless. And then you come out and you, you become uh, masters and just seek uh, recognition immediately. Because here, you need uh, about 15 to 20 years rigorous working. It's not that you, you got the diploma or you are a painter. How would you sort of suggest or recommend if someone was an aspiring painter, this process of becoming uh, a painter, uh, you know, you've sort of rejected the idea of going to the formal art schools. Yeah. What is the process that, that might be an ideal one? I think that the, uh, I, I, um, I, would, I would discourage him. You, know, you, you may show some sparks here and there, but what is most important is people have talent. But do you have the stamina? To, to work for 15, 20 years. And after that, you, you come out. So, so that is what is lacking. So when the young people come and, and, and the mothers, they bring their you know, children to teach them. Now I started saying, you, you better, if he, if, what, what is the intention? You want to make money? So I think it's better make him a potato seller. He will make more money than paint. But you've made a lot of money uh, painting, but have you? But a lot of money, but think of those 20 years uh, without any recognition, no exhibitions in, in Bombay. What is that? I continued painting. So, it, but my intention was not to make money. Uh, they, here I again quote uh, uh, Charles Chaplin. He said in his autobiography he has written that I was just making those comic strips just to make a, a living. Uh, just to survive. And later on it became art, so he said, that is not my fault. Do you consider your work in that sense art? I'm still in the process of working. I don't know. Because he, even here, working with, with this medium, the, the cinema, because I'm taking a big risk. You know, you breaking all the uh, norms of what you call the, all the isms of painting. and. This is we have achieved, and now we should, from what you call cubism, this ism, and pop and cop and cop and whatnot. So this is all. all, all it it and it's, it's nice to read and uh, know about it. But I I have uh, I thrown over everything. When you look at a painting of, of somebody else's, uh, what do you look for that, that that moves you, impresses you, or tells you this is a great work of art? I think you know what you could, unless it has something to do. With, some uh, elements which he had discovered, which, which is valid in the whole history of art. That, that's what I'm seeking. I'm not seeking a good painting. Good painting in this age of technology, anybody can do it. Anybody can do it. What, what is the contribution in the movement of Indian contemporary art, which I am, we, not I, there are eight or ten painters in India who are seriously engaged in that. The rest are just, they are, I think, even I can, I, can, I can say most of them are non-painters. Majority of the non-painters. What, what happened in, in, in Paris when Picasso was there? There were more than 50,000 painters working. Where are they? You know, uh, so uh, France in the whole century produced uh, five or six major painters, that's all. So you, you expect that there will be, uh, or even in music, there will be many hundreds of stars coming out from the college, college of Music. Why do you think this is not happening in India? That, that there are not so many artists um, uh, coming forth and expressing their abilities and talents, as you mentioned, uh, in Picasso's youth in Paris? But, uh, because they, they are lesser painters. They, have, uh, they, they know the technique and everything. They, and they are making their livings. It's, it's, uh, that, uh, as, as far as the, the human element is part, 
uh, we have great sympathy with them. They should survive. They should live. But as as a as a creative, uh, what what is the contribution? If uh, then a person may make millions. Uh, uh, like I I would say the Andy Warhol, but I think Andy Warhol is is is, is a trash. The same work. There are maybe there are more than thousand trash painters here also. They may be successful. Are there elements of our culture or Indian sensibility that you feel uh, inhibits this uh, growth of art? Yes, yeah, this is exactly what. But the unfortunate thing, because of these Victorian values, which are you know, thrusted for the last hundred fifty years of British rule, that is not yet gone. We are still. Uh, the people who are in power, the people who um, matter. So they are they aesthetically or culturally they are just uh, just they are ignorant. Uh, one of your uh, colleagues, painter, has said that you can only paint a woman successfully if you have known her intimately. Mr. Padam, she said that. Yeah, but that is the. Of course, unless you intimately doesn't mean you you you. That, that, that I think even there I, I replied that yes that that intimacy what you what you see they say take Chatterjee uh, Tracey in Chabu Lata there the tremendous you know what you call that uh, tension which he created with with that with 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 the married woman's lover and all that. I think this, uh, this is what uh, Tagore conceived and the way uh, Satyajit Ray portrayed it, even without you know, uh, reaching that, without touching, you can create that intensity. And that, that is much more dynamic intensity than possessing a person. Uh, you know, you, you have frequently uh, sought in your work uh, to discover, in a sense, portray uh, the Indian woman. As an, as an embodiment of, of an aspiration of virtue. Uh, what kind of intellectual or emotional relationship do you have in, in your mind's eye with, say, Madhuri Dixit, who you're now working so extensively with? I think here, uh, and even uh, people may think it's really, I've seen that film more than 50 times, but they are not looking at the film, because the film is not a great film, or she's not doing a, a, a great performance either. But in in this uh, in, in the very certain nuances, certain movements, even when she lifts a, a tray, so there is certain you know there is a certain flair, there is a certain style in it, which which I am uh, evolving. It is again like you you see a painting, you you go on looking at the paintings for you know hours or days or months. So it doesn't mean that you just see see a painting, you know whole detail, and it's finished. It's not finished. So then what you do, you, you pick up certain areas and then you create your own image. This is how, this is just, Madhuri is just a, what you call it, a stepping stone. Or, uh, from there I take off. So even when I go to the, uh, the theatre, I take my uh, sketchbook and all that, to take the notes and all that. Because on, the, on that fleeting moment I just get certain ideas. So I just note, note it down or, or make a sketch. So this is it is it is it is almost a evolving in my own way. You know, maybe Madhuri may not be there at that time because I'm 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 going towards the ultimate, the essence of Indian culture. That is Shakti, the image of Shakti, which is so overpowering and and, and millions of manifestation of that Shakti. Which so that, that, is, that is my goal. Your work also has an incredible uh, energy. Uh, I'd say some of the recent work uh, has a restless energy. Um, how does the creative process take place for you? Do you visualize the picture before you create it? Do you interact dynamically with the process of creation? Yes, I think it's, you discover it in the process of creating. But for that you have to be totally, you know, it's, it's, it should be like a frenzy, you know, real man. It's not that you... Uh, you, you stop and think and then uh, apply your... I think here it is sheer energy. At the same time, in, in the, it's not that you, you shut your brain, you know, and you just blindly throw colors and all. It's not that. But I think it, it, it is the combination of both. Because after painting for 30, 40 years, so certain things 
comes automatically. I, I had discovered one thing in my own uh, way, which is which was I was really I, I don't know how it, it it came up because the thing a, a painting I, which I did in 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 Pune, which is for 30 feet by uh, 30 feet by 15 feet, and there were four panels because I did in four sections. I had no place, so I did it on on the floor, and each each. And uh, they had to be in a joint, but I, there was no space I could put four together. So I was doing one by one. But the thing is, you know, each each panel is 15 feet long. There is there is a, a perspective, you know, how how your eyes are trained. So you you know you 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 are standing here, but what the uh, the proportion of the head should be, the automatically it, it sets, and you you just do it. You don't go. You know, like uh, in, the, in the fashionable studio, you have an easel, you have a pipe in your mouth, and you go back, and there, there, there's no such thing. So, uh, perhaps my earlier working on the cinema holding, I used to do on the floor, you know, 20 feet, 50, 40 feet. So that has given me that, you know, uh, automatically it, it comes. An artist is in some senses, uh, more than the art he creates. Uh, he's, he's a human being uh, who uses art as a form of expression for himself. Uh, would you say the fact that uh, you have chosen as a matter of choice not to wear shoes uh, or, or, or to, to have a particular profile personality uh, is, is, is a self-conscious uh, organizing of your life for principles yeah, and beliefs that you stand on? That, that's true. Yeah, even even you, when, you, when you dress, it is a certain thought process has gone. It is not just you put it like that, and the way you, you live, because uh, today art is not in, 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 in the word art is in the artist. The way he lives, because it is in totality. It's, it's not, it, it, just going to the canvas painting is is just a fraction of that creation, a very small fraction. So, so many factors work. You know how you relate yourself with each to different people. That is, uh, I think here I can quote one Urdu, uh, a line which is very apt here. Jisko jine ka hunar aata hai, wo kisi cheez ka mahtaj nahi. Mahtaj nahi, you know, he doesn't need anybody's help. Wo kisi cheez ka mahtaj nahi, jisko jine ka hunar aata hai. Even to, to live a life is, is, is an art, it's an art form. What is your experience of the statement that you make not wearing shoes? That, that, that thing I, that I enjoy it is not that uh, it's not a taboo that I if it is too cold sometimes I wear it. Though I, I'm very fond of good shoes. I've got a collection of Bali and all Italian. This is there. You know. And I noticed that you came in uh, carrying a, a paintbrush mm -hmm. with you. Uh, what does this represent for you? Do you, do you as an artist feel? the most secure in the process of creation? I think this is the, for the last two years, first of all, I'm fascinated by this brush. You know, this is a French. Uh -huh. It was actually um, created for Matisse, when he was not well. Uh -huh. and so for him, if there's different sizes, he could work like this. Uh -huh. And uh, you get different sizes brushes, uh -huh. and when you're working on a larger canvas, the sweep from one end to another there, mm. and holding the brush like this, you know, this way. So, this, but uh, here I can quote one, one Chinese master, when he said, an archer, you know, if you want to know you, the, the whole, you, you must love your tool. Here also, uh, Vishwakarma is here, on, on that day you, you, you worship your tools, so this is in our tradition. So he said, if you want to uh, learn art, you know, archery, the one one should be with the bow for one year, one year, with the arrow for two years, all the time, 24 hours on your body. So and then after two or three years, then that student goes to the master. He says, now here is the target, and you use it. So he says, run, and he releases the arrow. There the master says, here you am. That means you are not confident. It is, it is a Zen thing, you know. 
you should do everything, but you just hold it on yourself. You are a very uh, youthful 80, and uh, what are the, what, do you feel any incompletes uh, in your life? Things that you feel you must do? No, 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 that, I, that never, first of all, I never set, set goals, I should do this, I should do that. It, it, it's just, you know, I, I discover certain things, and my sheer joy to do it, I just, I just love, even today, if there are a thousand canvases, I want to stop for a minute to think what to do. There's so much here. What I've uh, taken out is, I think, perhaps only one person, ninety-nine percent of it. And that's why one lifetime is not enough. You just leave certain, you know, points with the later generation, the one who are, you know, alive, they pick up those things. That's how this little 5,000 years of our culture continues. You mentioned uh, one life is not enough. Do you believe in reincarnation? But one, one thing, the, the thing comes to an end, even the matter, this is only disintegrate. I don't think nothing is vanished. This much I know. <laughs> if you could uh, live your life once again, would you still want to be a painter? No, no, I don't want to. Actually, I wanted to be a, a filmmaker. That was my, you know, my first love, my dream. You know. Right, right from the when I was at, at 10, 11 years old, I used to correct all the. Uh, uh, writing, film, strip, uh, 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 to write uh, notes, uh, to go and see the films. So uh, I thought one day I'll become a, f a filmmaker, but that I didn't get the chance. So next, uh, if I'm, I'm brought back here, I might become Fellini or something, or as the, at least his assistant. <laughs> well, good luck and, and hopefully you will make the film in this life itself for all of us. Thank you very much. Thank you.